Hey Frank, how you doing? Do you want to move here, this beautiful planet? Look at this beautiful planet I just found. Doesn't it look disgusting? It looks like pretty good soil. We could probably plant some stuff there or build some stuff on it. Are, are there I, monsters on this planet? How about, there are no monsters. That's a very okay, good question. Okay. There are no monsters. In Terra Neal, a game from Free Lives, the folks behind games like Broforce, and in more recent years, I guess, Genital Jousting, which we did a documentary on. Um, and also, uh, Angerfoot, which is one of my favorite named video games of all time. Um, they make a, they're, they're like a collective in South Africa who work on bunches of different types of games. And Terra Neal is basically a, what is this, like a real-time, uh, Earth, like, what's, what's the word again? There's a word when you go to a planet and you make it, like, Earth, life can live on it again. What's that word? Do you remember that word? Uh, stick it in the not, no. stick it in the comments. Yeah. Terraforming. There we go. Terraforming. Okay, yeah. It's a terraforming game. Um, do right. you know anything about this game, Terra Neil? No, like it looks like a real time strategy game. It looks like a farming game or a sim, but the it looks pleasant. It kind of actually looks like the those theme park games we played a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit. Yeah. I like an isometric game, Frank. What can I tell you? Hey, check this out. Oh, look at oh, that! Oh wow! Look at that! We're bringing life back, man. Look at this shit. Uh, so Terra Neal is uh, a really pleasant game to play, but it is also not, it's tricky. It's not, it's not just like a, you know, it's not like a dwarf romantic situation where you're, you're basically just like, you know, going through the motions and, and having a chill time. Um, Terra Neal is a game uh, where you are attempting to not just bring uh, plant life back to uh, the, the, the each of the sort of four main levels that constitute the game. Uh, also, all four of those are different biomes with very different rules, so it, it really, you know, you'll be doing a lot of replaying those levels to try and beat them. Um, but each of these levels has three different phases, Frank. This is the first one, which is kind of the building building back better, you know, <laughs> just like our boy Brandon. Um, uh, this is the, the, the sort of the first phase of that where we're, we're basically trying to bring grass and, and life back. Um, the next phase is trying to uh, sort of change the climate, like to, to, to create these varied climates. And then the phase after that is to um, get out, to get out off the planet or off the island or whatever, while also taking all the shit you brought. You know, kind of like when you, what's that thing they say in California when you go into the mountains? Like... Don't leave no trace or whatever. Yeah, leave leave no trace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of that kind of that vibe. So at the moment, um, I'm planting. The game does a good job of tutorializing this. But what I'm doing is I'm planting wind turbines for wind. I'm planting these toxin scrubbers, which basically make it so that you can plant on uh, the soil with these irrigators, which you know spread water everywhere. So here, let's do some of that irrigation. And you may notice there's like some little bits of grass that are sort of flying up into my little counter here in the top left. Um, so the way this game works is that basically like whatever we're calling that, that green stuff, leaves or whatever, is your currency. So every time okay. you buy one of these things, it costs a certain amount of these, these leaves. And then every time you do something that regenerates leaves, like for instance planting the water thing or these irrigation uh, pumps, uh, you get a certain amount back. So do you see like little number percentage on the screen there where I'm like where I'm placing it? Yeah. So that's literally letting me know like how many uh, how many tiles this is going to land on. Um, so you're trying to optimize basically for for that, like trying to get as much much bang for your buck, as much leaf for your buck. <laughs> Or leaf for your leaf, I guess. It's just an, an entire leaf economy, this one. So, so after you've uh, leafed up your planet, you've, you've, you've planted grass, is there other things that you collect or do you start building farms? Are there animals or other, other no, things? No, it's, so it's very, it's, it's, that's the thing. It's, ve it's, a ve it's, a, it's a unique premise and also, I think, like a unique um, execution as well. Uh, so the, 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 you're only really interested in building back this ecology and okay. you know at a certain stage that involves like you know messing with the temperature like there's this whole thing in the top right we're gonna get into that in a hot minute and um, also this is i'm playing the the original level but they've they're not doing any tutorializing and they're also like basically allowing me to to fuck this up if i want so there is a chance that i will totally fuck this up and um, i do have these things here which can make um uh, sandbanks which are handy for I think I can plop these guys on them, can they? Oh, I can't. I can only stick these ones. Okay. Well, I fucked that one up. Um, I have these mineralizers, which will make, um, which will make like, 
uh, what would you call it? Like, uh, oh, these ones create the rock. Oh, yeah, okay, that's what I need to do. I'll do that. I'll crystallize that. There's all these things, like, you have stuff that'll, like, make rock in the river so that you can build, um, more wind turbines. You're basically trying to extend your, uh, zone of influence uh, as sort of, uh, I don't know, what's the word? Like, as, as smartly as po as efficiently as possible? Yeah. That way? You want, you want to ma maximize your space and resources, uh, and fill up the map. Yeah, and maybe going over here and doing this is probably a bad idea, because there's not all that much land here, to be honest. <laughs> um, but it's good for the ocean as well, and the ocean will come into play in a little while. Yeah, I'm really wasting time over here. I'm wasting <laughs> precious green. So let me get a, let me get one of these over here somewhere. Can I put these in? I don't think I can put these in rivers. No, I can't. Um, so we'll do that. Which will allow me to... Because you can only plant those wind turbines on rock. That's the, the reason why there's like a delineation there. And then if I do that there and that there, maybe... It'll open up some grass and then... So my, the first phase right now... See the way it says one there? At the bottom bottom oh, left, yes, there's yes. a little one. So this number two will unlock once I get this... Uh, target greenery coverage up to 100%. So that's that's kind of my goal at the moment is to is to do that. So that's going to give me plus 20. I do feel like I'm not doing this very efficiently. I t I picked a trickier level than than you sort of like start out with as well. So I'm going to do these don't cost that much. They're only 25 bucks. So I'm going to do that. Well, I guess with the wind turbine it ends up being 100. Uh, so let me do that. And I'll put that here. We we'll get as much of this island as we can, and I guess as much of this as we can. And then, and he can press R to, to, like, rotate the irrigator, so it only goes in, like, two directions, of course. It's actually one of the things I like about the game, is that it's kind of, like, showing how, um, how inorganic a lot of, like, mechanisms are, that they always go on, like, you know, at right angles, whereas the natural world is kind of curved. Oh, yeah. So you're always, like, stuck in these weird situations where it's, like, this annoying inefficiency, like, I, I really need to fill this little area in here. But, uh... I guess I can't unless I... Yeah, I can't put any of these more mineralizers down. I can... I'll do one over here. And I guess we'll just cash in this one while I'm here. Let me rotate it. So I can get... Yeah. There, I guess. Better than nothing. And then do I have any other ones I'm missing here? I guess these ones? Oh, yeah. Here's a bunch. I forgot about all this. So I'll do a long one, maybe. Long latch. 25. So we're up to 74%. Try and do some more here. Plus thirty-five. So I think I'm getting it for the for the for the ocean as well. I think the ocean is giving me some points. Uh, and I can't wait for you to see what happens when you get the uh, when you get the pop. Oh, and there's loads over here. Here, this is a good spot. Over here. Yeah, there you're almost there. There we go. So that's gonna cost me, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna unlock some more land for me. And I might do that, will I? Yeah, why not? Because right now, what I'm, I'm not trying to, like, necessarily min-max the amount of stuff. I'm just trying to get to 100%. So, there we go. That should be it. Oh, that's 98. We're almost there. Where can I stick an extra one of these? There. Cool. All right. Pop. Phase two. Ooh. So phase one was, uh, you'll need to begin by cleaning up the surrounding oceans and introducing plant life. The next step is increasing biodiversity, Frank. Restoring beaches, mangroves, tropical rainforests. You also need to use the monorail network to transport coral pops to the sea. So this is all stuff that you kind of learn as you're playing the game. Like I said, I've gone back. This is a... This is sort of like f level one, phase two, where I can go back to the first biome, but use some of the tactics that I've learned along the way. Um, so what do you want to do, Frank? We got a, we got a hy hydroponium, which creates wetlands. We got a litharium, oh, beaches. which makes some beaches. You a beach boy? Yeah, let's make beaches. Some beaches. So if you click on these, it'll actually tell you where you can put them. Oh, it says I can't put them anywhere right now. It requires toxin scrubbers. Do I need a toxin scrubber near the beach? Oh, temperate. Cannot, temperature cannot grow. So at the moment, we don't have... These are all grayed out because we're not... Uh, we don't have the... Um, the requisite temperature, because right now it's at two degrees, which isn't very good. So we can fuck with the temperature, Frank. And also the amount of uh, clouds that are in the world by using these cloud seeders and these combustors. And they sort of uh, uh, level up your um, 
your various uh, things. So if I here, if I go ten percent, that'll level, that'll put the humidity up ten percent based on, I guess, the amount of water that's around this particular rock. So let's do that for fun. And that might upgrade some stuff. We'll see in a second. And then what's interesting is that you start to see visually all these things, uh, like change the world, like ferns on riverside, moss, moss on rocks, and now we're starting to see ferns oh, wow. just picked up in the. Get some moss. I love a mossy rock, Frank. Big fan of a mossy rock. Uh, let's get some of these uh, hydroponiums going. Make some wetland. So now up in the top left, do you notice this little four quadrant thing? Yeah. So we got 1% beach. We got zero coral reef, zero forest, and 11% mangrove. And you're basically trying to strategically get as, get as much of this as done as possible. But without also kind of snookering yourself without like putting yourself in a position you can't get out of it where you've you've got too much of one or you you didn't you didn't burn enough forest early enough or, or that type of stuff um i will say the one thing i'm a, a little bit worried about is the lack of like land that i've covered around here so i'm going to spend a little bit of my my grass here on uh spend some grass on uh i'm building out some of these farms maybe maybe a little bit more not sure how efficient this is. Uh, how hard is this to... Because I've played a lot of this game, and there's a lot of, like, learning very bespoke rules in this game. How difficult is this to follow for you, like, sort of first time checking it out? This does feel like I'm in science class again, <laughs> where I'm like, okay, all right, yeah. Like, uh, I can see how it's satisfying, because it also just feels... also kind of feels like... I don't know, Resident Evil 4 inventory stuff where you're like, <laughs> like there's a soothing bit, nature of it. Or or like maybe like Tetris or like the Street Fighter puzzle games where it's like I can see how it clicks and it's like, okay. You're, uh, it is very uh, like pleasant. Like all the sound effects, all the visual yes. things. Like It's like, ooh, the music. The it's music. Like, I, yeah, the music is like getting a little bit more like, here mm -hmm. we go. Da -da -da -da. We're it's, making society. <laughs> well, we're not making it's society. Nice, but. It's nice to be able to do this without worrying about being invaded by like people on camels or elephants, <laughs> like destroying your. Because like that's why yeah. I do. There is a therapeutic part Whoa. of like when you start. Yeah, when you start Age of Empires, like, ooh, I'm building my plants, I'm mining, and then someone comes with a bow and arrow and screws it up. This is like, oh no, I have my. This is like a safe. I can just I can just play in my sandbox here. As, um, so one of the things I have here is a combustor, which burns surrounding vegetation to increase atmospheric temperature, which I knew need to do to unlock some of these things and also to reach the sort of uh, like jellyfish will return once wow. I hit that and I'll get 25 grass for it and ivy will grow here and I'll get 25 grass for it you get rid of it when the thunderstorms oh, cool. begin it's pretty cool um, but the problem with the combustors is this is like a controlled burn situation so which I, any California knows can go very wrong very quickly so let's uh let's attempt where do I want to burn maybe here maybe Maybe over here might be a good shout, because that's kind of out of the way a bit. Let's do that. Let's see what happens. So we'll do a little burn here. Whoa. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Uh, some of the burns you do, not these ones, but other ones, will uh, will really mess up the buildings as well. You can sort of really scorch an area. So that's already put the temperature up to 10%. We need it to get up to like... Oh, not 10%, sorry, 10 degrees Celsius. We're in Celsius here. This is a game made in South Africa, uh, Frank. <laughs> wow. Um, can you can you can you toggle it or is it is it locked to Celsius? That's a fucking good question. That's a question <laughs> only an American would ask. I love it. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's check it out. Gameplay. No, it really might. Oh, there's different. Yeah. There's also different like v varieties of. Uh, um, you can play this game pretty chill in gardener mode. Uh, okay. I'm an ecologist, which is like middle, and then I guess environmental engineer is like the sim version oh, of I this love, game. I love that. That's like the difficulty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't say it says it looks like maybe the future is uh, yeah, right. is, is Celsius, what? My, my, my dude. Unlucky. One, one thing <laughs> this also reminds me of, it's like it's like the inverse of Minecraft, is with Minecraft you start in a beautiful, popu like, you know, uh, ecological uh, uh, setting and then you tear it all down. Here you're building up, you're like making it pretty, yeah. dressing it up. Yeah, that's a good point. It is like an inversion of much of the <laughs> like, that's a, I hadn't thought about that. Real-time strategy games are largely games about like, um... What's the word like? Uh, like like m depleting the resources. Yes, exactly. Like, yeah, tearing him down. This is no, no. Let's rebuild. Let's rebuild the earth. Let's let's, let's populate. Let's build let's, back let's... better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so now we're getting some sand, which is helping out. You said you wanted some beaches, so that's uh, yes. that's lowering the amount of grassland I have, but it's uh, it's increasing the amount of beaches I have. So you know what they say: can't make a, you gotta crack some sand eggs. 
Uh, it, it, and then even though it's virtual, I feel like there is something pleasant about seeing grass <laughs> in a video game and water and the nature. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is this is relaxing. Yeah, this, it's is like, re- this is good. It's like California two months of the year, you know? Yes. There's grass and shit and stuff's not on fire. Uh, what's this doing? This is the uh, the salinator, which is uh, increases the salinity uh, of the surrounding area, allowing mangroves to flourish. So is this? We need coral reef. We need mangroves. Oh, those are the things for the mangroves. What are these then? These create wetlands. Oh, mangroves, beach, coral reef, tropical. So what's the difference between a mangrove and a wet... Uh, this create provides... Mang- Let's give it a go, I guess. Let's stick one on here and see what happens. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and it also put up the... I think it put up the humidity a little bit. That's pretty cool. Um, these shade cloth pillars are dope. I absolutely love these. I think they only go on rocks, is it? They provide trop. They need a cliff. Okay, we need some cliffs. Here's some cliffs. This is see. This is where you can snooker yourself. You can accidentally, like, forget to do these. So we'll do one there. I gotta. Ke- you always gotta keep your eye on the little sort of uh, total up there, just in case you screw yourself. Um. So how far will this go? There, connect there. Okay. So we'll do that. And then we'll do one over here. And then we'll do one here. And I'll connect them all. Will it? Maybe they're too far from each other there. Oh, they might be too far. So let's get some shit. Have I screwed myself here? You can, there is an undo button right here in the corner you can do, which will go back one turn, uh, which is quite handy, but I might have, I might have screwed myself. I think that maybe they need to be closer. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Okay. So that made a little far there. So yeah, I needed to do them closer. So let's go. This will make 19. So those, those little shade cloths create the uh, the required. So here's if I do this, if I do one there and one here, probably let's do the first one here, and then I'll see how much I can get out of it. Nine, maybe. Okay, so that's not a lot. I feel like I kind of maybe didn't optimize this area particularly well, but there are other cliffs. Here's another cliff. Here's another cliff. Maybe I'll try to do some here. Twenty-five. I'll try and cover as much of this as possible. There. Maybe there as well. Oh, that made one there. Oh, that's cool. So you can connect them across the way too. So yeah, maybe I... Oh, yeah. It's like... It's, I gotta... Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Here's the mother... Here's the mother shot. Look at this. Ooh. 44. 60. Let's do this one. Boom. Now we're talking. And then this one here. So now we're making big network. 25, 30. So maybe if I do one here. Then I could do another one here maybe. 24. Maybe here and then another one to the side of it. Or out here. Will that work? Will that work? 14, 18. So we're almost there. We're at like 80% forest. We've created this whole area. But while we're doing that, we're also we could have been eating into one of the other ones. I'm not quite sure. Um, we need some coral labs. That's what we need to do. This one's a little bit trickier. So for the coral lab, you need to create a monorail network <laughs> for some reason. Okay. You need to. Care. It's very important. Are you taking notes, Frank? Yes. You need to. <laughs> So we'll turn this one. I know there'll be a test later. There's going to be a test. A there's going to be a test. <laughs> we might not get to the end of this level. I might not be able to show you the third phase because there's, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. Um, so that's one. So we'll do. Oh shit! I might have shagged myself here. Um, so here's we're going to make a monorail node, and then we're going to make another one. How do I do this again? Oh, I need a second one. I need a second one somewhere else to plant it, but it's close enough that they're connected. So I think that's really stupid, but I think that might work. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to plant it here. Does that make sense? Let's try that. I'm not going to try and explain that. You just just <laughs> just take it for granted. That's going to make some just make pretty some, stuff. God, I made hardly any coral and that costs so much. I might be in trouble here, Frank. Um All right, I'll come back. To, let's do let's do a beach. Let's just get the beach done. I'll feel good. I'll feel like I've accomplished something. Where where do you want the next beach? Oh yeah, is it possible to clean up that like bottom right corner where it's all? Oh, down here. The top, the top right corner. Either way, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of unexplored. Some Ooh. stuff there. 
That's all mangrove, so I don't want to do it there. That's all burnt, so there's only 50. I guess over here is the only real place I can do it. Plus 6, plus 17, plus 39. Ooh. We'll do that one, will we? We don't need plus 39. Oh, do we? Will that do it? That'll put us over, so we'll do that. Awesome. That does mean we can no longer plant some of that stuff on it, though, so that's that's part of it. So we, we beach is done. We need to make sure that's over 100% the whole time. Um, we could put the temperature up maybe a little bit more. We need to, we need more coral reef as a problem. Mangroves. This is the mangroves, right? Make some of these mangroves. That's three. Plus three. That's not much. Over here, maybe. Plus 44. Whoa. That's not yeah. bad. Doesn't give us much, though. We need a lot of mangroves, it looks like. Oh, this thing helped, right? The salinator helped. Yeah, that's what we needed. Salinator. 44 plus... Let's go plus... 40. I saw 44 there a second ago. Nah, let's do 42. And then, is there another one I can do? Is there more salination to be done? Always be salinating, Frank. 36. Yeah, we're done. Good. Mangroves confirmed. Beach confirmed. We're almost there with the forests. Let's try and get one of these. Look at this whole area in the middle. Why isn't there no cliff here? It would be so handy. Or can I put one out here, maybe, and that'll connect it? Kind of? Oh, here we go. Look at that. That'll do it, but it'll probably eat into... Oh, they only grow on cliffs. That's a problem. That'll do... Give us some, but it might eat into the mangroves. Does it? No, it doesn't eat into mangroves. Here we go. Let's try that. We've got a little bit. We didn't get much. We got one tiny, tiny, tiny piece. So there's one... And then maybe there. Yeah, okay, we're good. Tropical forest, done. Nice. Coral reefs. Okay, I gotta figure out how to do this properly. So where are we gonna put these first without screwing everything else over? Probably, maybe over here is the place. Oh, so we need, we need some of these guys. So that we need that, that to be done. And then we need to do make, make a bit of a network here. So there's one, there's one. That would work. And we can plant that. We can pick this one up and we can plant it. That's going to give us 51 coral reef. Oh, it's so... Okay, it's a little bit. We're up to 29% coral reef. Not terrible. Can we connect to that? Can we connect anywhere else? I guess I can make more of these. I can, I can make more random spots. And we're going to have to invest a little bit in infrastructure here, Frank. You know how much I hate investing in infrastructure. <laughs> we're going to do that. Can I get a... Can I put a, a... I can. I can put... I can connect him up to this one. And I can connect up to this one. But I just have to make sure I can plant more of these. I can. Okay. Okay. So we'll do that one. We're going to... We're going to flip it. We're going to do that one there. We're going to maybe do this one here. And then we... This is invest, it's taking, taking a lot of money to do this. So hopefully it works out. We'll make that one a... We're basically converting these things into... Into a... Coral reef juice. And then we're using this. We're clicking on one of these monorails so we can pick it up and then bring it to anywhere else on the monorail network. But I guess it needs to have... It needs to be within our zone of influence. So maybe I need to do that as well. I'll be honest, there's a lot of, like, this type of shit. There's a lot of, like, very bespoke yeah. thinking, and then every t every area you go to next requires a whole new set of rules that you didn't, like, think of last time. Like, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if this is... What, what What's the prerequisite for me? If I, so if I click on this and then I pick this one up, I can only plant here. Like, why can't I plant over here? What's the... What's this line donating? In range of a connected monorail mode. So that's where it goes down. But Oh, maybe it's too deep? Maybe the water's too deep or something? Let me see if I can do a monorail over here. Is that going to connect to you guys? It is. I'm spending a lot of my green here. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is really going to do much. I'm a little bit worried here. Does it just go to like a stalemate if you lose all your resources? Oh no, it'll, it'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, 
I'll, it'll, it'll tell me I fucked up. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that. How far did that get me? That didn't get me much. You're like halfway down. Uh, okay, I like your positivity. You're helping me. Yeah, and then you're getting little, like, those uh, achievements on the top right uh, every time you're getting closer. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's, that's popping up a little bit. If I pick this up, I can put this one over here, maybe. It's not going to give me much. There, maybe. Let's do that. So the monorail is going to bring it over here. The monorail network will come in handy later as well when it, um... When it, uh, it starts to... I'm going to burn all this shit over here because I don't need it anymore. Oh, I can't burn. I don't know where to put the burner. Um, uh, when, you, when you're trying to get out. So the, the next phase of this is basically once I've completed all these, I need to get out of here. And that happens by way of, um... Uh, you using the monorail network to basically destroy all the things you made. And then... Uh, getting out in the ship that you arrived in. So I need to burn some more to get the temperature up, but now the problem is if I burn here, I'm going to burn some on my beach and some on my forest. And then I lose my forest and my beach. And I don't want that. And you can't, like, destroy things as far as I know. Like, I can't just get rid of this thing here I built. Um, I think I can... Could I use a mineralizer? Oh, I wonder if I use the sandbanks here. Will that help... Would that have helped extend? It's a bit, little too late now. Maybe I could do it over here. Sandbanks are for... They provide that. Okay, so where's the... Well, let's make some more monorails and we'll try and plant some more uh, beautiful coral over here. So we'll do that monorail. And can I connect you? Are you going to be close enough? You're not. That's because the power isn't going far further than there. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I feel like planning early well gets you very far. And if yes. you sort of don't do a good job of planning the early phase of this, you may well find yourself shitting the bed like I feel like <laughs> I am here. Let's go there and try and do the monorail and we'll figure out what the deal is with the area of influence for this coral. So we're going to convert one of those coral guys. I'm going to use the monorail to pick it up. Yeah, why can I only do there? I guess it's only where the monorail network is connected up. Alright, I'm going to do a Hail Mary. I'm going to try and do another monorail here. Oh shit, why, why didn't that work? Created rock. Why didn't I create rock that I could build on? Uh-oh, starting to feel the heebie-jeebies here. Oh, I guess I can do that. I don't need to do the rock. I can do that because then I can presumably build a monorail network on that. I can. Okay. So there. And then I could do another one here. It's not going to cost that much more, right? So then hopefully we'll do... We'll see how much we can get for this. Not much. Fuck. I guess it's just like the, the area that you're able to do is just like a low level. It's like the depth of the, the available bedrock. I guess I'll have to do that, and then I'll do this one. If I pick that up, I can do this over here. Try and get as much of that as possible. I did No, I didn't. Okay, it's telling me I'm resources are running low. Uh -oh. So we're 69%. Nice. We're 69% away from... <laughs> so there has to be a way. There has to be a way. Is there any... If I can add to this monorail network here... See, this is what I meant by it. It's a chill game until it ain't, right? Yeah, yeah. If I can do that, and is there any, is this one close enough? I think it is. So if I convert this one, I should be able to pick it up from here and put it over here. But there's just, oh, there's already some coral there. So there's a little bit more. Oh, it's so little. It's so depressingly little. Can I use a sandbank to get out there more? Will that help? How much are they? 25? They don't cost that much. See, I wish I knew what the area of influence thing was that's stopping the... Yeah, I don't think that's helping. I guess I could do that. Is that going to help? Is that the area of influence that I need? It might be. No, it's not. Shit! We'll reverse that. Alright, this is, this is a real can we fucking stumble over the finish line situation here, Frank. I'm going to pick this one up. I'm going to put it here. Did not get very far. So I guess over here is where we need to do more. 
This is this looks like coral land. But I don't know if I have enough. So that one there, that one's ready to be harvested. So I need to get a monorail network here. Uh, but I can't get to that one. Is there any other ones I can harvest around here? That one's outside the influence as well, I think. Will that connect there? I don't think it will. Is this the end of our beautiful journey, Frank? Dude, I, I mean, I do kind of want to see you spend all the resources and see what happens if it's a game over. <laughs> Let's do that and then create this one. It's not costing me that much each time is the thing. So that mm -hmm. that's at least good. But if I do that one here, maybe? That did a decent amount. And then if I... Can I plant another one? And then convert it and then build that one here. Is that going to give me enough? I don't think it is. You're very close. We're so close, dude. 86%. But look how much... I've only got 75 left. Ah! <laughs> Shit. Are there any conditions you're close to to getting bonus... Uh, That's a good point. Bonus greens, coconut palms. I need 80%. Eight, oh, 80% humidity if I stick another one of these things down. Mm. That, that's going to cost 50, though. So this is a real still. roll of the dice. I say go for it. That way you'll still get 50. Uh, yeah, let's, let's crank try. up the humidity. So we spent 50 we, and we got 100 back, I think. Yeah, there you go. Okay, 125. Dragonflies. No, we're way too far from that. Way too far from that. We're 5% more, but that's only 25 we're getting for that. So that's not worth it. Okay. That was a clutch save, dude. Well, mm -hmm, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. So the Carl now, the, we still need Carl. I feel like this area here is the area to do it, but to do it, I need to buy two monorail nodes, but I can't get to this thing. <laughs> that's the problem. The, this one's not, it's so, it's just outside of its influence. So like, but I could build another one. Is there anywhere I've not done it? Like maybe here? If I built, how much are they? Oh, they're 50. So if I built one. But there, there's one already there. Can I build a monorail thing over here? No, it needs to be on rock. So if I build a rock thing, a mineralizer here. Let's try this. A mineralizer. 25, a monorail, 25, we'll pick this up and we'll put it there, oh look how close it is, I think it's only 1% away, can I get that one too, will that do it, oh it's not 1%, how close is it, I can't tell, is that it, oh no it only gave me a tiny amount, no it did it, it did, did it, we did it, we did it, we did it Frank, we did it Frank, Clutch save. Oh boy. Okay, so this phase is actually pretty chill. I'll be honest. I think we're past the hard part. So we gotta put the airship down. Oh, oh. I got 69. Jesus, I've only got 69. This is crazy. You can't like sell or buy back. Like, is there other way of. So now I'm gonna buy all this. Now I'm gonna start it. getting it back. So this thing, the airship is why I need to get out, but I'm not gonna build it right away because it looks like I've only got 70 left. Allows for the construction of airship with materials recycled from other buildings. Yeah. So first we're gonna do the recycling silo, I think, which is basically gonna give us free money. So I'm gonna spend that, and it's gonna give me all those resources back, I think. Is it? No? Why didn't it give me all the resources back? Do I need the airship to do that first? Oh shit, am I, am I in trouble because I need... Oh fuck, I might be in trouble because I, I don't have a hundred, which I need to build the first two parts of this. Oh my god, is that possible? Is there any way of getting... I need some crabs, man. I need the crabs to repopulate <laughs> the earth. Shit, I guess the mo maybe the recycling beacon will work. If I have, but I don't have 75. I think, I think I have ended up in an impossible snooker situation where I needed at least 75 mm. for this to work. So you build the airship, which you need. Is there any way of getting any resources back? I don't know. Are there any... Are there any more of those bonus conditions? Because it seems no, like you're don't. close to a 25... No, wait, there's something about 20... Yeah, but I'll have to spend at least 25 uh, to get that. Like, unless I got up to, what, 20... 20... Am I, am I under... Crabs Populate Beach is at 25. 20 and 25. So if I got it up by... Why have I not gotten that one yet? 
Right, sure they have to be greater than 25, you'll get jellyfish return, and then vines will grow. So let you crank me up, you just gotta make it hotter. If I just burn some shit and see if that, let's just fucking, yeah. that's only gonna give me 2% extra heat. 4% extra heat. Mm. 2%. I need like a 5% area. I need to burn some shit. Oh, here we Ooh, go. 10. Nine. That's good. 9. Yeah. So there's 9. Let's try that one. Okay. That gave us... What's going to give me back? I'm on 44, but it's giving us... Oh my god. Frank Howley. Mm -hmm. You fucking legend. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> See, burning stuff can be cool. You're right, kids. Get out there and burn... <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll put so I think if I put that there and then I can start to recycle some shit and then we're good So if I put this here It'll recycle stuff and it'll send it all back, right? No, am I crazy? Did I make that up? Is that a thing that doesn't happen in this video game? What if I use the recycling node there? Will that do it? On a recycler station shit. Am I still in trouble? Oh fuck, maybe I am, and maybe I actually just also snookered myself by building the, the <laughs> ship first. I can't tell. I thought these recycling centers gave you back some of the cost. I don't know why it's not doing that. I thought it did that before. So 69, 29. I thought that they you could just pop these down and it would like give you a bunch of them. Like give you give you it all back, right? No? It doesn't do that? So it looks like you have to fill 100% before you get payback or something? I don't know. I forgot. I thought it did. I know you can use these recycling nodes to basically um, do it, but I need 100 to do that. Okay, fine. I think we are actually stuck here. But I think that's a good taste of the wonderful Dang, world yeah. of Terranil. The, the last section is basically you clearing out all this stuff, getting in your airship, and getting out of there. So if you think you can do better than this dumbass Irish guy, look all the birds are coming back. Here's the other thing. In this section, you get to build a little animal observatory, and then you can use, like, science to find animals. Ooh. By going, like, it tells you, like, there are conditions. Like, parrots, you gotta... The call for bird is in lush forests with clear skies, so... You gotta find a bit of forest that's not covered in canopy, and then it'll be like, yep, you got it. So it's like fun little mini games in here. And then what's fu fun is each biome Terranil is actually totally different. So all the rules that I've had here of like mangroves and shit and like far, like all that's different than the next one. Like there's one where it's in like a busted up city. There's one that's in like a sort of a oh, volcanic cool. area. Yeah, it's totally different rules. And um, as beautiful as this game looks here, I think we haven't really fully explored. Like when you get down to having thunderstorms and stuff, like this game starts singing. Like it looks, it looks so cool. Um, so that's Terra Neal. Uh, Frank, what's the, could you check Steam for the price? I think it's, yes. I think I want to say it's 30 bucks. I'm not sure. Um, and like it I said, it's 24.99. 24.99. Is it on sale at the moment or is it just regular? No, regular for uh, now. PC, mouse and keyboard. I don't know about Steam Deck Sport. I think if it is, it's probably a touchscreen situation. Um, check your local Steam Deck website for <laughs> details. And, and the, the genre is environmental strategy. Environmental strategy. What a beautiful... Uh, hey, that's very fo that's very future conscious, you know? Oh the, the, the next generation, they got to worry about that stuff. So yeah, teach. we don't have to worry about shit. We can just, <laughs> yeah. we just burn fields. Kids, kids, play this game. Save the world. Yeah. We need your help. We need you to play this game. <laughs> well, the next generation needs their help. We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. That's the message of this game. We'll be fine. 